Hey guys, another video here in our collection. You can see this one is going to be based on long division. But as you saw today in class, long division isn't really long, especially with these problems. They're all going to be one simple step. But the key is knowing the parts of the problem, terms like dividend, divisor, quotient, and obviously knowing your math facts is certainly going to help. So you can see this problem down below. This would be read as 39. That's my dividend, divided by 6 over here. That's my divisor, and I'd get an answer up here in my quotient. So we're going to get started with this one, 39 divided by 6, and I'll walk you through it nice and slow. Okay, so if we start with the problem, 39, again, divided by 6, we should know that 39 is our dividend, and that's the number that is being divided. That's the number that's being split up. 6 over here is our divisor. And we learned already when words end with ER or they're the one who does. So the 6 is the number doing the dividing. And then up above, my answer I'm going to get up here is called, is called my quotient. Okay, so 39 divided by 6, you can see the terms here, my dividend is 39, my divisor is 6, my quotient is going to be my answer. And already, and this is really kind of part of thinking, already what you need to get into the habit of is thinking about this, you know, how many groups of 6 can I make if I have 39 things? You know, can I make at least 10 groups? Well, there's no way, right? You only have 30, almost 40 things here, there's no way you can make 10 groups of 6. So we are not going to have an answer in our tens place. It's impossible. I mean, these are all simple one-step problems, and we need to figure out how many groups of six can we make. Well, I showed you the strategy of listing multiples. One group of six would be six. Two groups of six would be 12. Three groups of six would be 18. Four groups of six would be 24. Five groups of six would be 30. Six groups of six would be 36. Seven groups of six would be 42. Now, I'm going to stop there because I only have a dividend of 39. That means I cannot possibly make seven groups because that would be 42, and I don't have enough. I could make six total groups, which would be a total of 36. So six goes in my quotient. Six groups of six, or six times six here is 36, and then we subtract to find out what would be left. 39 minus 36 is 3. Then I showed you in the lesson to check. You need to make sure this number, our remainder in this case, that it's smaller than our divisor. If it's not smaller than our divisor, we could have made more groups. So in this case, 39 divided by 6, the answer would be 6 with a remainder of 3. Right? Pretty simple. Let's look at another one. In this case, we'll do 43 divided by 7. Again, looking at this, I ask myself, is it possible to make at least 10 groups of 7? Well, 10 groups of 7 would be 70. I only have 40, so nope, not possible. Then I start to either use a strategy of listing multiples, or I could ask myself, all right, what number times 7 would get me as close to 43 as I can without going over it. All right, well, I can maybe write out over here. Okay, I know that 7 times 5 is 35. That's getting pretty close. I know 7 times 6 is 42. That's really close. And I know 7 times 7 is 49. And that would bust. It's too big. That means I can make 6 groups. 6 groups of 7 or 6 times 7 is 42. 43 minus 42 is 1. I check my 1 here to make sure it's smaller than my divisor, and it is. 43 divided by 7, 6, remainder 1. And now I'm going to give you two more. And in this first one, I'm going to write the problem, and then you can pause it and work it out. Then I'll come back on and show you, and we'll do the same thing with the second one. So we'll start off with 26 divided by 4. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, try to work this one out on a piece of paper, hit resume, and then I'll work it out. 
Okay, you should have had a chance to pause the video. Again, I know that I can't make 10 groups. 10 groups would be 40. So I need to take 26 and split it into groups of four. That would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. I almost made a mistake there. That's why listing multiples helps, 28. That's too much. I can make up to 24. That would be one, two, three, four, five. I can make six total groups. Six groups of four is 24. 26 minus 24 is 2. This number is smaller than my divisor. I'm done. 6, remainder 2. Okay, one final problem. Let's go with 57 divided by 9. Go ahead and pause it. Work this one out. Be back in a second. Okay, should I have a chance to pause the video? Again, I know I can't make 10 groups, so I'm only going to have an answer in the ones place. I can list multiples, or I can ask myself, what number times 9 would get me close to 57? Well, I know 6 times 9 is 54. 57 minus 54 is 3. This number is smaller than my divisor, and I'm done. 6, remainder, 3. If you need to check out the video again, you certainly can. You can also search YouTube and maybe see some other videos. Ask peers for help. Or possibly check CSUM because some people made some videos on there. Keep practicing, work on those math facts, and I'll see you soon.